Hey guys, I decided to document what I'm feeding my daughter again, and I did this over the course of about a week and a half. We took a spontaneous weekend vacation, so um, we ate out a lot, and I wanted to kind of feature some of the foods that we are eating at home. So some of these foods um, were from last week and some were from this week, and I separated them into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and snack categories. I did it a little different this time and just took pictures instead of filming the actual meals. So please let me know in the comments um, section below if you like this style better or if you prefer the filming the meals um, in my first Healthy Toddler Meals video. Um, if you like that style better. I just wanted it to be a little bit easier to follow along so let me know which works better for you guys. So um, just to recap, my daughter's almost 15 months. She is still breastfeeding about four times a day, so the following foods are similar to um, what we have almost every week, and um, she gets breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack, or sometimes two. She's very active at this point, so um, I hope you guys follow along and enjoy. For breakfast this morning, Luca had scrambled eggs, cut up strawberries, cut up mango, and little pieces of fresh coconut. And here we have a little mini frittata, well there are actually two frittatas there, with egg, arugula, tomato, onion, and bacon, and some sliced bananas with cinnamon that she dunked into the little puffed millet right there on top. These are overnight oats cooked with coconut milk and blueberries. And these are Johnny Cakes, one I left whole and kind of like took pieces out of. She liked to hold the whole one. And that's traditionally made with organic cornmeal, but I also used some oats in there and put some greens in there. And I served it with mixed berries, pomegranate seeds, and cultured coconut milk for dunking. The next morning she had scrambled eggs with spinach, some cut up strawberries, and her favorite pomegranate seeds. For lunch this day, Luca was having some steamed broccoli, some shredded carrots, and leftover quinoa mixed with green lentils and some hemp seeds. And this day I took a picture with, of my salad too, because I thought it was pretty, which is just a bunch of mixed greens, some rice noodles, and wild salmon on top. And Luca also has wild salmon, rice noodles, some sugar snap peas, strawberries, pomegranate seeds, and little pieces of avocado, which she just never touches. Today we ate uh, eggs for lunch instead of for breakfast, and I made what I was calling an egg pizza, which was um, had some leftovers from the night before. In there is tomato, arugula, onion, cilantro, grass-fed ground beef, and eggs, and there's some steamed carrots there, and that is coconut chia seed pudding with some fresh coconut on top, which she thought was strange. <laughs> And this day we actually got lunch from our local farmer's market, so there are some fresh mandarin orange slices, some dried fig, and the bottom is omosubi, which is a Japanese rice ball with seaweed on it, and there's some kelp in there, and some salmon. Um, sorry the picture is weird, but we did just split it. We almost always have fruit for snacks and this week was no different. So there is a fresh young coconut and Luca and I shared this. We drank the water and ate the meat. And we always eat bananas for snacks too. And mandarin oranges, I find them just so easy to take with us when we're on the go. And these are little black figs that I just kind of ripped um, into pieces for her. And that's fresh almond butter and a rice cake. And here's one of the smoothies we made this week. This one has coconut water, fresh coconut meat, frozen peaches, kale, and spinach in it. And the next smoothie we made had frozen banana, almond milk, kale, spinach, cashew butter, strawberries, and dates. And I think this probably was her favorite smoothie of the week. She loved this one. And the last smoothie we made this week had frozen banana, some orange juice and water, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, 
spinach, and a few mint leaves. We always try to give Luca a version of what we're having for dinner, and this night was baked wild salmon, asparagus spears, some sliced cucumber, a little tiny taste of citrus ginger kraut, some avocado, and steamed white rice. And here we were having a taco night, so she got a few little pieces of torn up sprouted corn tortilla, grass-fed ground beef, black lentils, some cherry tomatoes and pomegranate seeds, and some steamed broccoli. And we were running late this evening, so I defrosted some homemade chicken soup from the freezer for her, and in there is homemade bone broth with chicken breast, carrots, celery, onion, and a little bit of kale. And on the right there, that's potato gnocchi with some fresh peas and a little bit more broth. And this night we were having some wild Dover sole. And I just put a tiny bit of a cornmeal crust with some Italian herbs on that. And some steamed broccoli, steamed carrots, and wild and brown rice. And this is steamed white rice again with red lentils cooked with a bunch of Indian spices and there is zucchini and some sweet potato in there that you can't see and that is cilantro on top. If you liked this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and I will do more of these in the future. Thanks so much. Bye!